Hi, my name is Ashani Rira Rutna. I am a Bloomberg Distinguished Professor of Cancer Biology here at the Johns Hopkins Schools of Medicine and Public Health. The tumor microenvironment is made up of the tumor itself, as well as multiple normal non-malignant cells around the tumor, such as fibroblasts, uh, blood cells, immune cells, and so on. In addition to the different cell components that surround the tumor, we're also really interested in understanding how the biophysical matrix in which that tumor sits changes with time or with uh, drug intervention or as the tumor itself undergoes changes that make it more malignant and um, in turn can affect both the normal cells around it as well as the biophysical environment in which it sits. For example, the tumor microenvironment can secrete factors that drive tumor cells to become more invasive. Uh, we have seen in a very recent study that the tumor microenvironment can also act to either keep cells uh, in tumor dormancy, so keep them quiescent, and then as things change, can act to wake those cells up and have them emerge from this dormant state and become more aggressive. So I really think of the tumor microenvironment as a society where members of the, that society speak to each other and the way they speak to each other can influence the outcome and the behavior of the tumor cells. One of the most surprising things to us has been the depth and the breadth of the impact of aging on the tumor microenvironment and on the tumor itself. So we found that, especially in melanoma, fibroblasts are a large driver of this disease. And what's really interesting about fibroblasts is that they sort of age in the skin with the human body. We have found that fibroblasts secrete um, multiple molecules that affect therapy resistance. Aging results in a breakdown of the biophysical matrix we all notice wrinkles as we age, and certainly those wrinkles in the skin are reflective of a changing biophysical microenvironment. It's been really fascinating to try to drill down these systemic changes such as aging and sex into molecular mechanisms that are driving tumor progression. My name is Emra Air. I'm an assistant professor at the Physiology and Biophysics Department at the University of Illinois at Chicago. Cancer is a disease of, you know, misregulation. There are a lot of things that go wrong, and that presents with an opportunity to therapeutically target it. For me, I think the most interesting part of the tumor microenvironment is its complexity. There are, there are biophysical forces within the tumor microenvironment, there are different ion gradients, and there are different uh, physical stresses, and all these things and how they interact with each other in a complex fashion is really fascinating to me. The, the cumulative knowledge suggests that cancer cells actually are softer than their normal counterparts because they need to invade different environments, they need to squeeze by different obstructions. He made this interesting observation that if we had a way of stiffening the cancer cells, all of a sudden these immune cells were more aware of their being cancer cell and then they attack them even better. If you try to cut honey, it won't cut, but if you try to cut something stiffer like ice, if you apply force to it, it'll shatter. We're trying to understand by looking at the mechanisms by which we can stiffen these cancer cells up, can we make them better targets for the immune system? Or can we make them better targets for immune boosting therapies, for example, immune checkpoint blockade? The tumor microenvironment can be targeted in numerous different ways in order to overcome tumor growth and therapy resistance. So some of them include targeting the secreted factors that the normal cells around the tumor are secreting. Some of these include targeting the endothelial cells that uh, provide blood vessels and nutrients to the tumor, as well as uh, targeting some of the changes that cause the matrix around the tumor to be um, less restraining to those tumor cells as they try to metastasize. What's interesting is that we have seen that factors in the microenvironment will influence the tumor cells themselves to express certain genes or proteins that we can then target in the tumor cells, again, allowing them to start to respond to therapy better.